Hi, I'm His Lordship, the leader of the Wilderness Guardians, and welcome to episode 3 of RuneScape Recipes. In this instalment, I'll be making tuna potatoes, the highest rated suggestion by my viewers. Released on January 30th, 2006, tuna potatoes require 68 cooking to make, and along with pineapple pizza, manta rays and dark crabs, remain the highest healing food in the game, healing 22 hit points. Therefore, they are very popular amongst PvPers and PvMers. And now while the corporeal beast will drop 30 of them, today we'll be making just four. So let's begin. For this recipe, you will need four medium-sized baking potatoes, one cup of mayonnaise or cream, one and a half cups of cheddar cheese, which you may grate, a quarter cup of spring onion, chopped, a quarter cup of creamed sweet corn, some goat's cheese, which is optional, some chives, which are also optional, and four to five ounces of tuna, drained. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, or 190 degrees Celsius. Wrap the potatoes in foil, and bake until fork tender, about an hour. Then let cool. Split the potatoes in half, and spoon out the filling into a medium-sized bowl, leaving enough in the shell so that the skin does not break when handling. Add to the potatoes the mayonnaise, one cup of grated cheese, the spring onion, sweet corn, and tuna. Then mix thoroughly. Restuff the potatoes with mixture to form a slight mound. Sprinkle with the remaining cheese. Place the potatoes on a baking dish and bake for 20 minutes. As a side to our tuna potato, I thought I'd make a spinach and cranberry salad. It's very simple and of course optional as very few of the ingredients can be found in the game, but it complements the dish quite nicely. Let's have a look at what we need. For this recipe, you'll need 10 grams of butter, half a cup of whole almonds blanched and cut into slivers, 250 grams of spinach, half a cup of dried cranberries, one tablespoon of sesame seeds, I have black ones here but white ones are just fine, half a teaspoon of poppy seeds, a quarter cup of white sugar, a quarter teaspoon of paprika, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, two tablespoons of cider vinegar mixed together, and a quarter cup of vegetable oil. In a small saucepan, melt the butter over a medium heat. Cook and stir the almonds in the butter until lightly toasted. Remove from the heat and let cool. In a large bowl, combine the spinach with the toasted almonds and cranberries. In a separate medium bowl, whisk together the sesame seeds, poppy seeds, sugar, paprika, vinegar, and vegetable oil. Place a portion of the salad on a plate and then dress lightly. Add two half potatoes and garnish with a strand of chive, some more spring onion, and a dash of goat's cheese. Serve immediately. Now, if you'd like to pair your tuna potato with the wine, go for something dry. If you watched my last video on cooking swordfish, you'll know that I chose an oaked chardonnay. That would be very suitable for tuna as well, as swordfish and tuna are similar meats. However, this time I'll be going with the rosé. What I have here is Miraval from Provence in the south of France. Now, uh, rosés from Provence are notable for their salmon pink coloured rosé. Uh, if you're going to choose a rosé, avoid choosing a neon pink one, as these are probably going to be too sweet to pair with your uh, fish. Now, Miraval is considered to be one of the finest rosés in the world, but still very affordable. They are made from grapes grown on the estate of Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt, and they are notable for overtones of raspberry, wild strawberries, citrus and melon, and it finishes with a fresh, vibrant acidity. If you're not normally a fan of rosé, I would still give this one a go, as it differs quite greatly to most other rosés. That's lovely. Now, of course, wine isn't for everyone. And if you're not a wine drinker, despair not, as you could quite easily go with the cider as well, as long as you choose a dry cider, like the one I have here. This is Savannah. Now, as with our swordfish recipe, tuna potatoes will work very well with a Czech or German pilsner. But I've opted for cider this time as a third option for those of you who like neither beer nor wine. Ah. 
tasty. Now it is important that you pick something dry to drink, as sweet drinks don't work very well with fish dishes. Okay, I am really excited about this one. So, let's see. We'll start with the salad. Mm. You know, for a salad that looks quite bland and green, it's actually really stunning. The seeds, the almond, even the butter. It comes through in a major way, and I think this is by far one of the most interesting green salads I've ever had. If you don't want to make the potato, fine. <laughs> well, I say that now, but definitely make the salad. It's, it's really quite special, and it, um, it's betrayed by its quite ordinary look. The cranberries are absolutely perfect for it as well. Let's try the uh, tuna potato, shall we? Mm, marvellous. Delicious. So I can taste everything in there. I can taste the spring onion, the sweet corn, the tuna, the cheddar, the goat's cheese, the chives. It's light, it's not heavy as you might expect from something with quite a bit of mayonnaise and cheese, but actually it's very palatable. Um, and I can see why it heals you 22 health, the maximum in the game, because, uh, well, I know I'm ready to go PK someone after this. Cheers, guys.